Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. This is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations and I hope you are all doing well. In today's video I'll be showing how I create a resin seascape. Also I'll be adding a little bit of land and a beach inside using sculptor mode. Here I already have my uh, canvas ready. I painted it with gesso and now it's ready and I'm starting to place my sculpt mode. This part is always really fun because you can choose how to create the land. It can be smooth or it can be rugged. So it's really up to you. And here are the last steps. I'm carving out uh, the a cliff uh, surface so it's a bit rugged and looks like a cliff. And after that, when I'm finished, I will let it uh, sit and dry for a couple days at least. So now it's dry and I'll start on the painting duties. So here I have brown color mixing together with PVA glue and uh, this is gonna be my base color. So while I paint here I can let you know where I have been gone for this couple month I think uh, in case you wondered so basically I have taken up a new job and the, the job also requires a studying part so it takes a lot of my energy and I don't have as much free time as I used to before when I didn't work and I could spend all my free time thinking about crafting I still think about crafting, maybe sometimes I'm a bit on the lazy side and just choose to uh, relax after my work day or college day and do nothing, but hey ho. I do still enjoy crafting and uh, I decided not to push myself so hard on this anymore. I want to enjoy to do crafting and I don't want that it becomes something that I must do. 
because crafting is always been pleasure, a little bit escaping and enjoyment in general. So here after all this painting I'm going in with uh, hard brush and on the hard brush I have white so I'm applying my highlights on this piece and after that is gonna be my absolute favorite part I gonna paint my board in C colors and then I will be feeling how the piece is gonna eventually turn out And now on to the next step, I'm gonna be applying all the greenery and uh, starting by applying glue. So after I can just sprinkle my greenery and it's gonna stick. And after the greenery has dried, I started to work on the beach side, the same procedures, put some PVA glue on the, on the beach where you want a sand to stick and then sprinkle on the sand. And once this step is going to be finished and it's going to dry, it's going to be time for the resin.
So my resin for this project is uh, coming from Resin Pro Company. It's uh, Deluxe Art Deluxe Pro resin. It's really thick. I have been using it for a while and uh, I'm still getting used to it. I thought I would really enjoy working with really thick resin. But sometimes it takes time before it gets places, if you know what I mean. And I feel like maybe it does produce more bubbles than usual resins. Um, but overall it always uh, does take a little time to get used to a new resin. So need to be just patient. And now I'm gonna be brave and gonna try my new machine, new heat gun that I already had it for a year, but I was always scared to use it because I felt like it gets too hot on resin. And also the nozzle was not right for my liking. So I did spend a little money on extra nozzles and it's really narrow this one. So I think I have a bit more control over this gun now. But it is really big and heavy machine gun. So here I am going and spreading my white, making waves. And after I will finish this layer, I gonna go in with another one. And that's gonna be my last one. So here I'm starting slowly, slowly to go and pour my resin.
And ta-da! Here it is, my finished piece ready. And I really like how it turned out. Take it in and appreciate this little beauty. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to come back soon. Please let me know what you think about this piece and leave a comment down below. But for now I say goodbye, until next time, keep creating, bye!